Welcome to the Heldon video demonstration of our CO2 charging kit. During this demonstration, we aim to better explain the benefits of using our advanced CO2 charging method with step-by-step -step instructions. Charging must be carried out by qualified and authorised personnel using appropriate personal protective equipment. Liquid CO2 will burn on contact and gaseous CO2 is toxic. The following is meant as guidance and does not supersede your standard operating procedures. Each rack or system is different. Please consult the operating manual before any CO2 charging begins. The Heldon liquid charging kit must not be used on a CO2 bottle that has no dip tube due to the risk of dry ice forming at the outlet of the needle valve. Only liquid CO2 can be charged through this kit. The Heldon liquid charging kit is only suitable for charging low pressure cascade systems with a design pressure of 40 bar maximum. It is not suitable for transcritical systems or high pressure cascade systems with design pressures above 40 bar. This kit is to be used for high speed liquid charging only. CO2 systems must be pre-charged with CO2 vapor to above 5.5 bar prior to using this charging kit. A separate regulator, hose, and bottle should be used to charge with gas up to 5.5 bar prior to using this kit. When first using the kit, please ensure all contents are in the case. Contents include the instructional sheet, Heldon CO2 components brochure, copper washers, flexible hose, and charging tool. At this stage, the plastic caps on the charging tool need to be removed. We can now begin connecting the charging tool to the CO2 bottle and CO2 rack system. Firstly, connect the charging tool to the CO2 bottle. Using a shifter, hand tight the nut to the CO2 bottle. Place a copper washer on the outlet end of the charging tool. Connect the flexible hose to this point and using a shifter, hand tight the nut. On the CO2 rack side, place a copper washer on the fitting used to charge the system. Connect the other side of the flexible hose to this point and again, using a shifter, hand tight the nut to this point. At this stage, Make sure the needle valve is in its closed position and the purge valve is also in its closed position. There should be no pressure in the lines. Both gauges should be reading zero at this point. Before liquid CO2 charging can begin, the air in the tool and flexible hose needs to be purged. We begin by purging the air between the CO2 bottle and needle valve. Firstly, Open the CO2 bottle. You can see from the gauge that the line between the bottle and needle valve is now pressurized. Slightly open the purge valve. Slowly open the needle valve and let the CO2 vent for a couple of seconds and close the needle valve. Close the purge valve and close the CO2 bottle. The line between the CO2 bottle and needle valve is now pressurized with liquid CO2. The next step is to purge the air in the flexible hose. The left side gauge should be reading zero at this point, and the needle valve and purge valve should be in its closed position. At the rack side, using a shifter, turn the ball valve to its open position. The hose should now be pressurized with system pressure, which can be confirmed by looking at the left pressure gauge. Slightly open the purge valve and listen for gas flow. Vent the gas flow for a couple of seconds, then close the purge valve. The left gauge should be reading system pressure and the right gauge should be reading bottle pressure. Purging is now complete and liquid CO2 charging can now begin. To begin charging, firstly open the CO2 bottle. With the CO2 bottle open, slowly open the needle valve. Please be careful when opening the needle valve. If it is open too quickly, the sudden pressure increase will cause the pressure relief valve to pop open. 
At this point, liquid CO2 is now being transferred from the bottle to the CO2 rack system. The digital scale can be used to determine how much CO2 is required for the system. Once charging is complete, the following steps are required to remove liquid CO2 from the charging tool and flexible hose. Firstly, close the CO2 bottle and wait approximately 30 seconds. This allows the CO2 rack system to pull any liquid CO2 in the line back into the system. After approximately 30 seconds, using a shifter, close the ball valve at the CO2 rack charging point. At this point, there will still be a small amount of CO2 vapour in the flexible hose and charging tool. This can be released by opening the purge valve and allowing the remaining gas to flow out. Refer to both pressure gauges and make sure they are reading a value of zero. The tool can now be safely removed from the CO2 rack and CO2 bottle. Once the charging tool has been removed from the system and CO2 bottle, it can be packed away back into its case and stored away for future use. For further information on this product and other related products, please refer to our website, helden.com.au.